there are five moves that every single magician needs to know if you want to be a fantastic magician or even just a basic beginner magician. If you don't know these five moves, you probably suck. I'm just going to be honest with you. So here are my top five moves that you need to know. And not only the overall category, but my favorite ones that I perform on a daily basis out of each of these types of moves. So before we get into it, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notified when new videos drop and let's get into it right now. Now everyone saw this one coming, of course the first one, the number one move, well really this is in no particular order, we have the double lift. Now at number two, we have the false shuffle. Now my favorite one that I currently use is one done by Ekaterina. She has her own channel and I will link a tutorial to the one that she does down in the description. Now at number three, we have a card control. Now personally, my favorite is the cull control. Now if you don't know how to do it already, I do have a tutorial on it and I'll link in the description below. Now at number four, we have a force. I just thought that worked pretty well together, so you know what? Let's have some alliteration and that all that word rhymey stuff will go together. So at number four, we have a card force. Now personally, my favorite is the crosscut force. It's simple, it's elegant, it's a time force. The psychology behind it is super fun. And if you want to see my top five forces video, I will leave that in the description below as well. Now a really fun one that every magician needs to know is a color change. Now personally, I love to use Shapeshifter because it's extremely visual, and if you want to see my top 5 color changes, I'll leave that video as well in the description below. So I hope you like that top five. Now, most people have some different top five in comparison to what I have. So if you have the same top five as me, let me know which moves you would substitute in. If you don't have Shapeshifter and you have a different color change, what would that be? Or if you have a whole different top five, if you'd throw out color changes completely, if you'd throw out card controls, what would your top five be? Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you guys did enjoy this, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect. Signing off.